Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Website owners want to edit your GoDaddy website using WordPress and this guide will walk you throughout the process of linking WordPress with your GoDaddy site and show you how to make edits using the WordPress dashboard. Let's get started and make a website shine. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about editing your GoDaddy website using WordPress, which means, first of all, we need to have and own a GoDaddy website. Now, it's pretty simple to own one. You first of all have to get a domain name. So you can go here and click and buy a domain name and then you can go to website and get a website builder, which is for free trial at the moment. So you can use it and have it for free. And actually you will have an AI that could help you a lot during the way. So here there is the free plan. You will get create your free website for free. Now I have one already. So let's go to it, my products and then go to this uh, the URL or the domain name that you have and I'm going to click on manage after I did that I'm going to click right here on website and I'm going to click on start for free as you can see right here and now we simply have to fulfill some information first so we can get the website ready for us so what are some features that you want your website to have or what are some features your website needs so with an online store continue what kind of business do you have let's say for example life coach continue and then let's go now what should we call your business so just give it a name I'm going to name it for example um, tutorial great these websites let's go with that and now the website is actually in the creation process so it could take a couple of minutes even a couple of seconds sometimes depending on the size or the needs that you have wanted to add to your own website and as you can see this is my website and it is ready to go now the actual GoDaddy has its own page builder as you can see here let me just show you real quick there is everything here editable so you can literally no, no coding simply just select what you want and change them to be fitting the needs that you actually want but as you can see through here there is a lot of mistakes and a lot of things that could be hard to change or basically there is a lot of things that GoDaddy that doesn't provide so you can feel that you are pretty much limited so for example here I can't really move this around I can just edit it here the same thing this buttons everything in here is pretty much uh, comes with a template unless of course you add a new section and you choose to be an empty section which is for now as you can see not available everything has to be already made there is no empty uh, or a blank space or blank page or starting scratch page or something like that everything here is a template which is basically limiting your creativity and limiting whatever the potential of what of your website could have so this is why we would like to always uh, use another application as our page builder it could be uh, like Wix, Squarespace, Square um, it could be even which we are going to talk about in this video WordPress so of course WordPress is well known as one of the best if not uh, greatest tool for page building and making websites without coding it is the first I think who actually created the actual domain of drag and drop options and such styles so you will always want to actually edit your site and make the best potential that you might think of of your site using WordPress now how can we do that so this is a pretty pretty complicated process but it's very 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 uh, fast since you are going to use GoDaddy so the first thing that you have to do is to go to GoDaddy.com after you do so well here this is pretty much you have to focus on it you have to own first a WordPress website so get started 
click on login whatever thing you fits you the best so here I am going to get started log in here continue and I should have a website within GoDaddy or WordPress I mean then what I should do is to simply go ahead to websites and here I should find the WordPress thing let me just find it real quick it should be WordPress managed uh, GoDaddy so WordPress hosting you'll find it here and uh, manage WordPress yeah manage WordPress basics so these are the things that you have to buy so these are the tools so it is not for free guys as you might not know it is a paid uh, thing that you actually have to get so choose whatever plan you want depending on your goals depending on the tools that you are going to use and of course the f the the speed of the website the size of the tools that, or the size of the storage that you want uh, if you want to sell online with e-commerce of course you have to go with something more expensive than the free version if you are just going to start with something such as a blog then you could go with ten dollars per month but normally the ultimate plan is gonna be the best for you for the e-commerce since it will actually allow you to do so so this is a very very important thing to note that the managed WordPress ultimate is always for the e-commerce stuff so as you can see here it's gonna help you for one website 13 gigabytes uh, NVMe storage which is an SSD free domain the free SSL certificate WordPress pre-installed AI creation tool daily on demand backups web application firewall automated malware scans and removal up to to faster performance with CDN, enhanced security with DDoS protection, staging uh, sites, SEO optimizer, WordPress code optimizer, smart WordPress plugin manager, sell online with WooCommerce, and priority support. So you will get all of these for $16 per month. You will pay around basically uh, $191 uh, today and the, so if you want like a good plan. So this is these are by the way guys for annual terms if you want the monthly terms you have to change them and there is also the pro and agency plans which basically gives you uh, a lot of different things one of them is the amount of websites is gonna be uh, like uh, augmented uh, it will have also here for example 5 10 and 25 and also the NAV the NVMe uh, storage will be a lot a lot higher so it starts with 50 gigabytes to 100 and 250 so of course this one is for agencies and companies that are going for example to make dozens and dozens of websites for their clients you will need always uh, a lot of basically a lot of websites a lot of uh, storage for your content and yeah after you buy this one you will be able right after that to actually use the WordPress inside of Godaddy and edit your website in Godaddy using WordPress so guys thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial